So this question is a diagram question. Any question on the SAT that has some visual representation, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question. Even more specifically, this is a parabola question, right? Anytime I see a graph question, however, my eyes are always drawn to the intercepts. So we have an x-intercept here at 1. We have another x-intercept here at negative 3. We have a y-intercept here at negative 6. Looks like they're, they've provided some other points for us. We have our vertex here at, what's that? Negative 1 comma negative 8. And we have another point here at negative 2, negative 6 as well, right? So I think I have a pretty good sense of where all the important points are. The question goes on to say the graph of y equals 2x squared plus bx plus c is shown where b and c are constants. What is the value of bc, right? So we are told that we have y equals 2x squared plus bx plus c. Now, I know that the c value here is the y-intercept, right? Y-intercept, let's not forget, the basic way to find the y-intercept is by plugging in x equals 0. So that's also another way to, to figure it out. If we said x was 0, this term would be gone, this term would be gone, and we would just have y equals c. So that is the y-intercept. Now, we know the y-intercept is negative 6. So now I can rewrite this equation as y equals 2x squared plus b x minus 6, because again, we knew that c was equal to negative 6, so that takes care of part of it. Now, what else can I figure out? Well, I can also use one of my ordered pairs, let's say this one, the negative 2, negative 6, and I can plug in y is negative 6, and I can plug in x is negative 2, and I'd only have one variable in this case, which is not really a variable, but for my purposes, I'd have only one unknown thing, and that'd be my b value. So let's, let's try that. I have negative 6 equals 2 parentheses, negative 2 squared uh, plus b times negative 2 minus 6. Let's simplify that. We have negative 6 equals negative 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is 8, so I get negative 6 equals 8. This is going to turn into a minus 2b, right? b times negative 2. And then I have minus 6. 8 minus 6 is 2, so it becomes negative 6 equals negative 2b plus 2. Of course, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides here. I'm left with negative 8 equals negative 2b. I divide both sides by negative 2, and I end up with b is equal to positive 4. So now I know c is negative 6. And I know B is positive 4. The question's asking for BC, which means it wants me to figure out what 4 times negative 6 is, which is equal to negative 24. So there is my answer, negative 24.